Hi there, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Simon Anderson Photography. Uh, today I've come over to Hastings to continue my sort of vlog series. I was just trying to capture pictures during the day, you know, you know, because uh, as I'm getting older, I'm finding it harder to get out for sunset, sunrises, getting out for sunsets. So I just wanted to come see what sort of pictures I could grab just on local areas. <coughs> In the, in the conditions that are with us now, you know, like, so today we've got this midday sun coming up, well, it's still about, it's about 10 o'clock, so it's not midday sun, but it's up high in the sky above us. Been blocked by some clouds, which is really good news. So I'm just gonna potter about, get some time lapse, and then uh, see what pictures we can get. And uh, let's have a look at this pier. I think it's the second time I've been on Hastings Pier since it's been done, um, but now they've got this nice, colorful, sort of uh, beach huts around as you can see and uh, yeah see what shots we can get so let's have a walk around and uh, check it out Hastings Pier. I've um, got loads of quite cool shots um, which I put on the screen for you just to let you know as usual I'm using my Nikon D750 and my Tamron 15 to 30 which are my favourite uh, combination. I've been switching between manual and aperture but, um, with the dynamic range of cameras nowadays uh, in aperture priority you're not going to go far wrong but one thing I'll say about Hastings Pier when I was walking up to it um, so I don't know if the pier is quite windy here, so it might be picking up the wind, but one of the things I noticed as I was walking up to the pier, because um, I think it burnt down a couple of years ago, and they've rebuilt it, but it didn't look like there was a lot on the pier, and I was a bit dubious about whether I'd get any good shots. Um, but walking around, uh, there's some, I was pleasantly surprised actually, there's some sort of nice coloured beach huts they've got on here, they've got a nice structure in the middle as well, which uh, I'll just show you now. See the structure behind me here. They call, I think they call it the deck. Uh, so that's quite good. So as you can see, all around is a uh, one good thing about this pier. Apart from the, the beach huts and the colours, there's loads of shapes and patterns, which is great for photographers. Uh, that's one of the things we look for. We look for um, patterns, shapes, symmetry. Um, I was going to use the sun and which I thought was going to be high in the sky, which well, it obviously is, but it was covered with clouds at the moment because um, I was going to get some shadows. So shadows, like very stark shadows with the shapes on the pier would look really cool. Um, but as I've said before in a previous vlog, is I find blue skies a little bit boring, just pure blue, but with the clouds in the sky, um, it's made, I think, some really nice pictures. Well, they look good on the back of the camera, so... I won't know until I get home and then post-process them and put them, upload them on the video as well. But yeah, there's lots uh, of interest here. So I was pleasantly surprised. Also done another mini planet. Um, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I'll put a link to how to do a mini planet and show you the shot as well now. Um, yeah, so pleasantly surprised. Having a nice walk around Hastings Pier. 
uh, along the seafront, trying to get some exercise and get some steps in as I'm taking pictures. Um, yeah, so I'm, next I'm just gonna head down to Bottle Alley and uh, check out something different and see what pictures I can get there. So let's head that way. See you in a minute. So here I am in Bottle Alley, I've just walked the length of it and back again and then um, yeah it's called Bottle Alley because uh, I don't know if you can see on the wall there all bro broken bottles been recycled and placed into the wall all the way along down there so and it goes from one end of the promenade to the other end of the promenade so it's quite interesting and at night it's all lit up, all different colours are lit up at night, so apparently it looks pretty amazing. So I will have to come back at some point and uh, film the colours at night. Also, I put up a little picture of a description of a sort of plaque on the wall, what Bottle Alley is. And Bottle Alley is just right next to Hastings Pier, which is just behind me now. And I'm just gonna be finishing off here at Hastings Pier by going down to the beach um, and getting like the usual wide angle pier shot <coughs> with the pier stretching out to the sea um, the only thing is the sky is quite bright I haven't got fil a filter set for my Tamron 1530 but hopefully once again post processing I'll pull back some of the highlights and lift some of the shadows because it's going to be probably dark under the pier and bright at the top and that um, I'll probably do it in full manual mode as well uh, so I can sort of get the best balance between the sky and the foreground so uh, I'll just do some shots here let you have a little look at what's going on I'm gonna plonk you down on the beach while I just grab some shots all right you stay there a minute I won't be long So I'm going to take a test shot, um, the highlights are blown in some parts but it don't matter and it's quite dark under the, the pier as well. We'll probably be able to pull that back a little bit, I'm sort of operating at f8, 500th of a second at the moment, but I'm going to go 400 of a second because um, I just want to lift the shadows a bit under the pier, I'm going to focus on sort of like the middle of the pier and get some let dramatic sky in there because as you can see the clouds looking quite dramatic as well um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk under the pier and then get some pictures from the other side in a minute so now a good thing about photography is uh, a lot of pe people's pictures do look the same and you think why do they look the same that's because everyone normally takes pictures at eye level height it's just standing up there take a picture sometimes you've got to get down really low and get some of that foreground interest like the wall too as well so we've got the patterns in the pebbles with the receding tide as well wait for it to come in and as it comes back we get some nice sort of textures in uh, the foreground there so um, that's always a good way to improve your shots is get low to the ground or try and get higher if you can and um, one thing uh, when the, the tilty flippy out screen came out I thought I'd never ever use it but it is really good if you because sometimes I do actually lay down on the ground to get the shots that I want um, but sometimes it's too wet and you can't so you can use your flippy or tilty out screen to get really low so uh, yeah let's grab some shots around the pier and then I'll post them up in a second so. <laughs> So I finished at Hastings Pier. Um, now we're heading back to the car because it's uh, lunch time and my tummy's telling me it's time to eat. 
so uh, yeah but as we head back to the car we're gonna head through the the fish fishing village there there's all fish stalls and or fish shops and uh, boats on the beach you know because it's a big big massive fishing town as well Hastings so uh, on the way back there I'm just gonna grab some shots and then post them in this video so stay tuned left Hastings a, a little while ago um, didn't film this bit while we was at Hastings sort of the outro type thing because uh, we were starving because um, we've done so much walking uh, carrying all that gear so uh, we head, headed to a, a massive Tesco's and bought a, a meal deal so I've eaten that and now I'm sort of content so I thought while well, the missus in uh, the shops doing a little bit of shopping I'll just film a bit of outro and uh, just give uh, some thoughts on, on today. So uh, Hastings, yeah, Hastings got a bit of a reputation for being sort of downtrodden, uh, a bit dirty sort of thing, you know, but after visiting it today, I think um, things have definitely improved because uh, they spent a lot of money on the pier, as you can see from the pictures. Excuse me. Um, yeah, spent a lot of money on the pier, so I brought that up to date. Um, I think they're sort of really trying to regenerate the area a bit. You know, you've got good links from Hastings to London as well via train. I think property prices on the increase there. So I think, yes, yeah, definitely up and coming a little bit. Um, but what surprised me today was some of the shots I got on the back of the camera. They looked really good. You know, I was going there middle of the day, sort of, you know, sort of 11, 12 o'clock, you know, sun high in the sky you know the pier looks a bit bare but um i wasn't expecting to get any sort of really good shots but i think with the clouds we had today the blue behind the clouds added a bit of interest in the sky um there was lots of patterns and shapes everywhere on the pier and um, went down bottle alley as well and to be honest if you some of the shots that i got today was just along the seafront just in that little location just from the car the car park by the i think it's the east hill lifts walking along to the hastings pier um yeah you know i could have spent a lot longer there as well and got a lot more a lot more shots it had so much potential for photography and uh, to be honest hastings is probably a little gem of a place because uh i didn't venture from the seafront but i know behind the seafront they've got a lot of sort of back streets um, sort of, you know, sort of very quirky back streets, you know, lots, lots of interesting stuff going on behind the scenes there. So, I mean, if you ever get down to Hastings, just try and venture out a little bit from the seafront. In fact, myself, I might go back again at some point, you know, and film another part of this vlog as well, because uh, I didn't get to do it, but I wanted to go up and show you the East Hill lifts that takes you up the cliff, up to the, up to the top of the cliffs there. It's like a little tram that goes sort of, up to I don't know so quite up, up quite steep up the hill it looks like you know like a tram um, and I didn't spend as much time as I wanted around the fishing part area which I said I was going to do um, but like I say we headed away but um, yeah on the beach there and um, they've got lots of uh, fishing boats on the on the, the beach um, there's loads of shells on on the beach there and I think a lot of the fishermen throw a lot of their fish on the beach that they don't use for the, the seagulls as well so you've got like fish crabs on the beach so there's so much to photograph there and uh, I'd say, I have to say I'm really pleasantly surprised and uh, I haven't been there for a few years really doing photography um, and I'd definitely go back because um, I need to try more stuff because I haven't done a lot of long exposure of photography for quite a while um, and I want to do some more of that as well pick up on that and uh, yeah so 
yeah so if you liked uh, coming along you know don't forget you know subscribe because I'll be doing some more of these vlogs uh, if you've got any questions leave them in the comment section below or if you've got a comment yourself you know just leave it below in the in the comments box and, you know if you can leave a thumbs up as well and you know if you can share this video as well and um, yeah I'll see you again soon and uh, come back and see some more videos so, see you soon.